Belle from Beauty and the Beast, but I don't really think that counts. So probably I had a massive obsession with Audrey Tattoo in Amelie. I probably wanted to be the woman who voiced The Little Mermaid. I probably wanted to be The Little Mermaid. Uh, but since I've grown up, uh, I love Anne-Marie Duff. I think she's wonderful. And Lena Durham of, from Girls. And also, I know he's not an actress, but Michael Fassbender. Always. Always. <laughs> well, I was a massive Star Wars fan, so I kind of wanted to be Carrie Fisher when I was really low. <laughs> I wanted to be Kenneth Williams from Carry On growing up. Um, he sometimes played a woman, to be fair, a, a man of many talents. Yeah, I, I grew up with the kind of like old slapstick sort of comedy sort of films because that's what my parents watched. Um, and so I loved kind of things like that and the Rocky Horror Picture Show. It was sort of absurd musicals or skits rather than one lady in particular. Probably Ginger Rogers because I used to watch Top Hat over and over again and I was kind of in love with Fred Astaire and I just wanted to tap dance all the time and wear a, a feathery dress. The, the biggest role model in my life has always been Meryl Streep, but I don't know if I'm like chasing um, that, that huge success as she is. I, I like, you know, to perform on the theatre and, and it, it doesn't have to be film. At the moment, I'm having a real love affair with Talking Heads. Like, I, I cannot get enough of their music. It makes me quite aggressive on the pavement. <laughs> accents? Yeah. No, I'm terrible <laughs> at accents. I'm... No, you mean, like, English accent? Like, Cockney or, like, Southern, Northern? No. I can't. Can I get a bottle of what? Oh. <laughs> oh, what is it? You're a top geezer, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm terrible. I'm going to get really nervous now and not be able to do it. Um, this is my favourite voice to do. I never really get to do it, which is um, that I think it's really fun to talk like Catherine Hepburn. You can say things like, put me in your pocket, Mike. <laughs> my feet are made of clay, made of clay, did you know? Yes, Professor. No, Professor. The last piece of advice I was given was to worry less um, about the future and what's going to happen, um, you know, month to month. I just trust that everything's going to be okay. <laughs> last piece of advice I was given was keep it simple. Probably from my mum about today, saying smile and don't slouch, probably. <laughs> Someone just said, just do what you think is good which I think is quite a nice uh, rule to live by. It's at my parents um, on the little island. I, I just lived in um, Paris for three months uh, and all my life I've like been, oh, it's too small in here, I have to escape. I have to, I have to come to Berlin, London, Paris, New York. But I really feel homesick, you know, I, I miss the sea and I miss the going out summer evenings and in, in the, my mother's garden, you know, it's... Jane Birkin's wardrobe, just because I just want, like, really good basics, but, like, beautiful basics, and I think she just always looked so cool and amazing. Uh, Lupita Nyong'o, I think she's wonderful. She just gets it so right. She's, like, the epitome of grace for me. Uh, Kate Blanchett, actually. I worked with her last year, and she just... Just even turning up to like rehearsals at like 7am just looks stylish and comfortable and casual and easy but amazing all the time. I love cameras. I love film cameras. I have like almost 20, 20 cameras, film cameras at home. Mm. Like Leica or Rolai flags and like old vintage film cameras. I really love them and I love taking pictures. One of my obsessions when I was younger, I used to have trichotillomania, so I used to pull out all my eyelashes and store them like on a little pile on my bedside table, so I had no eyelashes. Big into Game of Thrones, and loads of my friends are in it, which is really weird, because I don't like seeing them naked or doing sex, so <laughs> I have to like squint a little bit on those parts, but, um, but no, I'm obsessed with it. The one that comes to mind as the very strangest was I had to learn how to highland dance 
Um, but it was particularly strange because no one on the job uh, gave me any help. <laughs> so I just ended up finding this woman on YouTube who was called Kira Cogswell Vanstein Kisti, which I thought was a great name. And she had all these tutorials on YouTube for how to Highland dance. So I would be sort of on my room on my own, watching these videos and then like doing the, the movements. And that felt kind of weird. I, I had to play a Tesco's online delivery driver uh, last year for a play. And I tried to contact Tesco's to see if I could go around in one of their vans. But they said no, which was really annoying. I've been learning to pluck chickens and scale fish and gut fish recently because I'm playing a maid, so she would. I shot a baby. <laughs> that was definitely the most exciting. Ultimately, I, I'm, I'm so lucky with getting to go away and do so much, meet so many people, but it wouldn't really count for anything if I didn't have people to come back and tell the stories to, and that is my friendship group and, you know, my folks, so it's got to be them. God, I had my mum's dinner from last night for breakfast. <laughs> I woke up hungry, so I had rice, beans and steak for breakfast. My party trick was banned by my mother. Um, I don't, it's not even really a party trick. I, I used to, because I don't do it anymore, because I'm a lady, be able to put my fist in my mouth. But... <laughs> That is not really a goer anymore.